Um, but again, getting that sidewall up, and then it's just taking it. And you see that dirt goes bye bye, it goes away. So you can see where three wheel barrels <laughs> would just suck it up. How long does it take? I'd say about 20 to 30 minutes yeah, per time. Again, having having someone helping you is, is nice. You know, what I usually do, again, if I'm working alone, I'll lay out all the tires that I need to do, put all the dirt in it myself, just like I'm doing this monotonous rhythm. Then once all the dirt is filled to capacity, I go back, I stuff it, stuff each one, and just kind of go around, around in a circle. Um, get dizzy. You can go all one side. You can't go all the way around. It. Okay. All right. So that's a good question too. So you, you mean so how do I pound this thing without falling off? <laughs> no, that's a good question. That's a good question. So imagine if I can stand up right not your Um Imagine, all right, so let's say this is inside the airship, this is outside the airship. Okay. As you go up, the whole point is to firm up with it. So as you firm up with it, I'm, I'm standing on ground okay. right here and side. able to go. Now then. It's a cliff though. On one side, you got firm. Right, and then so down here, you got to drop. Okay, you don't want to fall. That's where, you know. When you have another tire here, it creates that little divot in the tire. You know, you guys saw on the video, you can picture that. That's when I just kind of tuck my boots right here. You know, and you're just kind of, you're tucked in like this. And you can fall back. Yeah, I mean, this is good. You can fall. You can fall back. I was about to fall over that scoop. So, you can fall anyway. Um, it's just about being mindful. Really. Um, how, how high up you go? Like a floor or something? Uh, with these globals, it's like 9 to 11 horses. Oh. Um, 9 to 11 horses? Yeah. Like horses up. And as you do it, as you go up, Mike mentioned the battering the tires. And again, so if this is my berm on the outside, the next tire that I stack is going to be about a half inch to an inch this way. So that this tire wall is like leaning against this berm and it's equalizing each other out. If I were to go straight up, that berm could push that, that wall forward. It probably won't, but it could. Um, the way I'm doing it down in Richmond, I, I merely use tires as my foundation, so I don't go more than about four, uh, four courses up anyway. Um, and so, which case I don't really have to worry about battering uh, at that extreme because I don't. I'm not going up that high. Um, yeah. Does it matter what kind of soil you use? Like, if I mean, our our soil where we live, there's a lot of clay in it. There's a lot of rocks. There's. I, mean, there's a lot of I got that question a couple weeks ago, and this is what I answered. This is the way I see it. I'm all about food production. I want to grow food. Everywhere. So if I had a if I had a pile of clay right there and a pile of this right there, I would use the clay. The clay, because I'm not growing food in this tire. This tire is being as a brick. So I want to actually look for the crappiest, reddest, you know, dirty sand and fill that up. Could you add sand? You could add sand. The problem with sand though is like if you ever go to sandcastle. When it dries out, what is it going to do? It just kind of falls over. It's so grainy that. Well, I mean, just add it in with your mix of. Oh, yeah, you yeah. could. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Literally, I mean, junk mail, bubblegum wrappers, <laughs> you know, anything can go in these things because it's being. Oh, old shoes. The thing that you don't want to put in here is like organic matter because that will, over time, decompose and then you're, you're leaving those cavities in the tire. So, you know, car parts, dude. Like, iron car parts are sweet. 
because iron, again, it's that dense mass. And the whole thing is just to fill this thing up with mass so that it's just a dense, dense brick. Um, I like to make an announcement to everyone. Um, we wanted everyone to get a chance, if they wanted to, to come and...